Last year, several Helena organizations began talking about a plan to work together for a major affordable housing partnership. The ongoing need for affordable housing is still a major topic of discussion in the community, and we followed up to see how that project is developing. MTN senior political reporter Jonathan Ambarian has the latest on where the planning stands as of now. Right now, there haven't been many obvious changes to this piece of open land behind Our Redeemer's Lutheran Church on Helena's north side. But leaders involved with the effort to bring new housing to this site say there has been progress behind the scenes, and they understand people are anxious for action on the housing front. I definitely feel like the push is more and the need is greater right now than it probably has been in the last 13 years I've been working here. Uh, our waiting lists for our other sites are, are you know, at least two years long for the most part. Liz Mogstead is Director of Affordable Housing at Rocky Mountain Development Council. Rocky is serving as the main grantee for the first steps to get the project moving forward. Current plans call for more than 100 housing units, with three organizations each serving a different part of the population. YWCA Helena would provide transitional housing, Rocky would build rental units, and Habitat for Humanity would have space for its family home buyers to build. Theoretically, you could do all those phases of housing and never have to leave your neighborhood which is kind of a unique opportunity for people. The city of Helena provided just over one and a half million dollars through a community aid grant. Mogstead says they've put together enough funding to purchase the land and complete the subdivision process, which could take a year. She said the next hurdle will be raising enough to complete Horseshoe Bend Road as an access for the property. They started the project with a five-year timeline, and Mogstead said progress now is likely going to depend on funding. These just take a really long time. Um, and this one in particular is is more complicated because, you know, the more partners you add, the more complicated it gets. But it's also hopefully building a path towards what other communities can emulate. Mogstead says once the land is subdivided, the participating organizations will be relying mostly on their own individual funding sources to develop the housing units. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.